Hello, in this video, we are going to mention how to run cipher queries in a pre-built Neo4j graph. But before beginning, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your all support in advance. I'm going to visit sandbox.neo4j.com. This is the cloud solution of Neo4j. You don't have to install Neo4j server on your environment. Besides, it comes with ready-to-use datasets and graphs. Here, I'm going to create a new project and under the pre-built data, I'm going to launch a graph data science project. Graph data science project is running and I'm going to open it with browser. This is the Neo4j console and in the database information tab, here nodes and edges are listed. Let's see the relationship types. Finally, this is the graph of Game of Thrones. Characters of the Game of Thrones and battles of the Game of Thrones appear in the graph. Here, battle, house and persons are not in our graph. And let's see the houses. I can get a specific house like that retrieve house nodes and in the curly bracket specify its name and let's say it's going to be stark stark house and estin it returns the stark house as node now let's get the related nodes to the stark house here i'm going to get related h and let's get its related nodes edges are represented with the brackets and nodes are represented as parentheses but this is going to return just star cause because in the return statement i just returned the end term which is the node here i'm going to assign this term to p and return p as well estin stark house as connected to bottles and persons here i want to uh, get the bottles starks attended here n2 is equal to bottles and it returns bottles starks defended and attacked and let's get the battles just starks defended our term is defender this is going to return the battles stark house defend who are the attackers of those battles starks defended i can get it just like that get its connected edge and its type should be attacker and get its connected node and its type should be house but here and two terms are duplicated that's why i'm going to change type of the battle to b1 battle of the ruby fort is just a battle between lannister house and stark house but there are six different battles starks defended against greyjoy house I can get the number of battles between houses like that. I'm going to change the term N to M1. And here, instead of returning P, here I'm going to return M1, that name. Get name of the uh, first house, defender house. And then get the name of the attacker house. And finally, get its count as count here m1 is the defender and n2 is the attacker as seen there are six battles between starks and greyjoys where starks defense so we have mentioned how to use cipher query language in neo4j graph database if you enjoyed the video, please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel.
Thank you for your all support in advance and final thank you all for watching and see you next time.